Here at Georgia Tech, my lab is really focused on generating what we call ultra-high resolution records of past climate change. And we have been working with corals in this case. We work with cave stalagmites. We need to understand the natural variations that have occurred in uh, climate of the past in order to differentiate the climate changes that are occurring today. What we're interested in this study and in my lab is the reconstruction of the El Nino Southern Oscillation. The El Nino Southern Oscillation is one of the most powerful climate cycles that we have on our planet. It occurs naturally every two to seven years, and it has warm phases and cool phases that originate in my study area in the central tropical Pacific. So what I'm trying to do is to capture the temperature and rainfall signals that it leaves in coral records from my sites. We go out into the field and we get the coral samples ourselves, which is probably one of the best aspects of my job and probably why I have a line of grad students waiting to join the lab <laughs> at any given time. We target these large, misshapen, ugly rocks that we use a drill to collect a coral core and we ship that back and uh, process that in my lab. We drill every single millimeter down the coral skeleton. We collect a very small amount of coral powder, which we put into the mass spec files. We, we take it to the machine for the analysis. They provide windows through time, very detailed, but very short windows scattered through time. So we're really, in fact, tripling the amount of data available from the tropical Pacific, from fossil coral records of El Nino, for the last 7,000 years. This provides a clear and very large data set for a very important natural climate cycle that may be changing uh, under rising CO2 levels.